Nah, I'm not really feeling that. Maybe this one. Wait. Nope. Oh, here we go. Number 11. That's what I want to hear. That's some good music right there. That's what I'm talking about. Anyways, guys, jokes aside, welcome back to another redstone tutorial today. This isn't really a redstone build, but it is a farm build, and I think you guys will enjoy it. So, if you ever wanted to get your hands on these music discs, and, you know, you found it hard to get a skeleton to shoot a creeper, uh, I have the answer for you. This is a very, very simple farm that, extremely bare bones, we go basically to the minimum of the required work to make an automatic farm for this, and it shouldn't disappoint you. You'll get plenty of records, you'll get multiple copies of each. Uh, very easily. I imagine if you AK this overnight, you'd have double chests of records. Totally unnecessary amounts. But let's get into how this farm works, and then we can go into the tutorial so you can build it yourself. Alrighty. So we start off, of course, we need the creeper component of this farm, and we'll start here. So we have a basic creeper farm here. It doesn't work the best sometimes. Sometimes they don't get scared for whatever reason when I'm constantly logging in and out. But as you can see, we got creepers right here. And essentially, they get scared off the platform by a cat, and then they flow over here into the corner, where eventually they get pushed into a water stream that takes them very, very, very high in the sky. And this is where things get interesting, because up here, we got a little bit of a rig where the creepers then fall down to a half-heart damage, and we have a skeleton shooting at you, so you're Steve in this video. And this is where you're sat AFK, causing the skeleton to continuously shoot. However, we have this water, so it'll never actually hit you. But when a creeper inevitably falls down, and we should see a creeper popping up here any second now. I just saw one going up the water elevator. There we go. And as a couple creepers make their way down, we'll see they fall. They get hit by the skeleton, and then they perish. And I have no idea why the arrow bounced back. Perhaps it was hitting it while it was invulnerable from fall damage or something. I have no idea. That was odd. Anyhow, and we have all of these music discs here. And of course, if I go into creative mode so we can take a look at the skeleton, what we'll see is that this guy is renamed, of course, to Record Bro. So he won't despawn. He'll continually get you these records. I mean, as you can see, we're getting tons of records from this farm. So it's definitely worth it if you want your hands on them. Because this would probably take you know, my guess is 45 minutes to an hour if you're working quick to build in survival, if not a little quicker. Anyways, let's hop in to what you actually need to build this build. I'll put that down in the description as well, and then we'll actually go into how to build this farm. And here is that materialist right here using the schematic of mobs. So some of these items might be a little off, like the smooth stone, but I mean, at the end of the day, even with a little extra, you're only getting three quarters of a shulker box of that stuff. So really not too bad. Just give this a quick scroll through. Of course, I'll put this down in the description as well. As you can see, these top three down to these. And besides this stuff, you will also need three cats. Uh, any type of cat works. Uh, I recommend just finding two in a village and then breeding them, or finding three and just taming them and bringing them over to this farm. And of course, you'll also need to get a skeleton up here as well, but those should just spawn around in the world around you. So, without further ado, Let's hop right into the tutorial. All right, first things first, find a flat level to build this farm on, preferably somewhere relatively close to sea level. We're not really approaching 256, so it doesn't matter as much, but roughly down the sea level, as you can see right here, we're a few blocks above it, but that's nothing to worry about. And the first thing you wanna do is build up three blocks using your building block of choice. It has to be opaque, so light can't pass through, and you wanna do a solid uh, nine by nine. Um, or not solid, you want to take a 9x9 trim. So we'll go 4, that's 8 it looks like, and then we'll do a 9. And then you just want to make a, you know, the perimeter of a square here. So it's 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And you just want to complete the square like this. You can leave the interior intact. As in, you can just leave it as an air, airspace. And you should be left with something like this. And of course, since this is dark space, do place a couple torches in here, unless you end up, you can fill it in with blocks, but I prefer to just leave it open, put some torches to prevent mobs from spawning. Next thing you want to do, and you can use upper half slabs, I just use the full block for simplicity's sakes here, and also to match the other floors. Just go ahead and fill this in, just like so. And next, what you want to do is, on the floor of this, place carpet every other block in this grid formation, similar to right here. As you can see, it should look something like this. 
And the next thing you want to do is go around the edge of this place and just put trap doors on every single block like so. Now we're going to want to go ahead and put our cat in the place. And obviously I'm in creative, so I can just spawn this thing in where I want it and then tame it. But essentially you're going to get a cat, tame it elsewhere, and you're going to get it and you can push it into place once it's up here and teleports to you. You know, you can push these things around when they're sitting right to this middle block, right in the middle of the platform. And that's actually this spawning platform complete. Next, what we're going to do is we're actually going to work on the outer wall. And this is where, you know, we're going to encase the thing so light cannon, as well as to create that water stream you saw at the beginning, where the creepers are going to be flowing around into a circle to get to the water elevator that goes into the sky. So to do that, the first thing you want to do is surround the farm. First by, you know, potentially breaking some of these blocks in the ground. With your building block of choice, you don't have to do that. You obviously can just leave the sand blocks. And then you want to just build up the wall around it. You don't have to do the corners, but I think that looks a little better in my opinion. And you want to just go up three blocks, just like so, around this interior. So you want to make sure you do this around the entire farm. All right, next up, we're actually going to start working on the second spawning pad. But in order to make it so only creepers spawn, we actually do something pretty unique here. And you probably know about this, but... Due to the height of mobs, when you have a trap door under a block like this, this prevents all their mobs from spawning except for creepers. So only, only creepers can actually spawn here, which is how we have a creeper-only hostile mob farm. And then the carpets prevent spiders from spawning, because they actually need a 2x2 two two space in order to spawn. And by placing these carpets, we actually eliminate the ability for spiders to spawn. So only creepers spawn on this farm due to the fact that we eliminate zombies and skeletons via this method, and then spiders via the carpets but this is exactly what you want to do is just go two blocks up and place your third block on top there and you can go ahead and place another nine by nine spawning pad on this and you're actually going to repeat this same thing with the carpets as well as the trap doors on the side two more times and you want to make sure that you have the trap doors underneath it so you should have a total of three spawning platforms by the end of this and you should be left with something like this. I accidentally forgot to put the trap doors on these sides, but I will do that in between cuts. And the next thing we actually want to do is put in the water. And before that, two notes is obviously you want to make sure you got your three cats in. And you want to have your double trap door, your trap door underneath like a third block up above here. However, don't put full blocks right here. Otherwise, you have to light your roof. It's not the end of the world if you did. Don't worry about it, but... If you can, make sure to put some half slabs right here. That's definitely the way to go. But we'll get into that step in a second. Because you're definitely going to want to put the water in before you close up the farm. Because then creepers are going to start spawning. And this whole farm is going to blow up before you're even finished. And it looks like we got a cat in here. It's time to, to beat it to death with our fists. Anyways, now what you want to do is you want to pick the corner on which your soul sand elevator is going to be. It's kind of doesn't really matter. So I'm going to pick this corner right here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and place the soul sand right there. And you want to place this block of a packed ice. This is just to help the creeper slide into the elevator. And you want to go ahead and place double trap door there. And then you can finish up your wall right here. And eventually this will extend way up into the sky. But we'll worry about that in a little bit. Now, the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to place a fence gate here adjacent so it's going away, whereas this one's going to go directly into the packed ice. I'm going to place the fence gate here and here. And then place a water bucket right there. This is going to cause the water to flow. And essentially, wherever it ends, you're just going to place fence gates like this. And then put it there. This will cause any creeper or mob that's down here to flow up into it. And slowly but surely, it's kind of slow. You'll get into it and then you'll flow down this way so he's going to go around just like this and i'll just do this part on camera since it's a little more complicated just to show you guys a couple more times but you'll quickly realize that it's definitely not too difficult and eventually you'll reach the end and then it'll just eventually flow directly into the elevator now that we put the water in we want to go back to the half slabs i was mentioning and you want to fill in this roof of half slabs, just like so. And you also want to extend this wall up to meet your half slab roof. So, right here, in fact. So you want to do that, fill in your roof, and this farm will actually be basically ready to go. We just need to start putting, yeah, the water elevator in, and then, of course, the killing contraption at the top of the farm. All right, next thing I want to do is go up, of course. And we're going to be going up in this with this tube, very, very high in the sky. And this will eventually turn into, of course, your elevator. 
And what you're going to want to do is you're going to go up 149 blocks. And let me double check that. Yeah, 149 blocks. So say we're at Y68. So we'll do 68 plus 149. And when we're standing at the top, on the top of this tube, we want it to be at 217. So 149 blocks up. And you just want to carry this tube all the way up there. And that also includes right here. So eventually you want to take the fourth block as well. And this eventually will be a water elevator. It'll take the, cre the creepers, you know, way, way up into the sky. So you just want to go ahead and bring these four up extraordinarily high. And of course, once you finish, you should have this long, long tube just like this. And what you want to do is put a water source at the very top. And I'll show you how you do this in survival. And I'm actually just going to end up filling it with commands. But what you can do in survival is you can actually break into this thing. And the water, yeah, still needs to come on down. And you'll you'll eventually get rid of these blocks later on, by the way, guys. Just keep that in mind. But, uh, should be a fence there. And slowly but surely... Should actually, be the fence is right here, next to the... Looks like this got a little destroyed on my commands. We're gonna have fences right here. As, as soon as this water gets down, you can actually place the kelp on the soul sand. And by placing kelp, you can you know, keep placing this up and up and up. This will actually create a water source uh, wherever you place the kelp. So you can just kind of swim up and place the kelp as you go. Be careful. You might have to breathe partway through this if you don't have respiration. Uh, you could get a water breathing potion, possibly, so that could definitely work. But yeah, just click this all the way to the top and then break the kelp at the bottom. Come back down and investigate this. So I break in there. And we're actually going to replace these blocks, because I don't want this to go everywhere. And as you can see, we'll be lifted up to the top. Now we're going to go ahead and create the water stream, so we can actually transport the creepers a little bit farther over. So what we want to do is place two blocks right going over the farm, because you run your AFK spot closer to the center of the farm. And essentially what you want to do is kind of just build this up by two blocks kind of around this whole thing, and you don't have to do the corners. That doesn't actually matter. You can you can leave those out if you so please. Uh, but essentially what you want to do is just go ahead and bring this on over, and you also want to put a ring around right here, and eventually you want to put a sign. You can also put a fence gate. I'm going to use a sign, because why not be inconsistent with instead of using fence gates like we have in the rest of the time, and place another water source right here, and this will actually flow over and this is eventually where the creepers are going to fall. Now what you want to do is we're going to put in the drop shoot. So you're going to go 21 blocks below here. So we're at 217. If my quick maths serve me, we want to bring this down to 296. So you want to go ahead and basically bring this down. And you want to make a bit of a tube, of course, to bring the other four sides down as well. I'll do that in a second. But once you get down to 196, you're going to get a hopper. As well as a chest, uh, you also can output this into a bigger storage system, which I definitely recommend since you're going to fill up a chest rather quickly. And you want to figure out where 196 is. So I'm going to go two more blocks below that, and I think this would be, be it. And this is actually, you'll put a chest or other hoppers going off to a bigger storage system adjacent. But this is where the creepers are actually going to land. So then, of course, you want to bring down the rest of your tube just like this on all four sides. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our skeleton in. I'd recommend doing this at night, capturing one in a minecart, and then transporting it up to here where you can actually put it in. This might be the hardest part, uh, but it's only one. I imagine you guys can do it. But yeah, definitely get it into a minecart, then wait for the beginning of night so you got a long time in order to drop this guy into place, for sure. And you wanna go ahead and make sure you also have a full block over where the skeleton is uh, once you do it. But yeah, get your skeleton in, rename it, of course, so it doesn't see spawn. We got a record man instead of record dude now, I think, or record bro. And yeah, you can go ahead. You can also put a half slap. Up to you. Now we kind of want to redo stuff with this drop shoot. So break a block here so the skeleton can shoot. And you can conceal it up like that and do the same right there. And now we're actually going to go ahead and eventually put the water in. I'm going to go and count blocks real quick. And you want to go up five blocks right here. So that's four, and this is the fifth. And what you want to do is just kind of surround this by blocks all right here. And go ahead and place a slab 
like so, right here. And you're actually going to stand down on this block, just right here. So the skeleton, if I went into game mode survival, he can see me and also shoot me. So let's not fall off. So once you do that, you want to bring this up by, of course, a couple more blocks. Uh, you want to bring it up to a third block up here, just like so. Also go ahead and put, put a rim of blocks just like that. And then place a few water sources in the ceiling right here. And this means that when you're here in survival mode, the skeleton will no longer be able to hit you, but it'll still target you, of course. And this also puts you in range of the farm, which will confirm with Mini HUD when we go down there to do some minor torching around the farm. Now I'm in survival mode. We got a lot of creepers built up there because our boy Stevo was not in creative. But as you can see, creepers are flowing in, the skeleton's shooting, and periodically the creepers are dying and of course dropping those oh so precious music discs. Now you can go ahead, listen to all that garbage music like cats and wait. I'm just kidding, I love the music. C418 is literally the best. But, you know, we all know the best is of course number 11. And as you can see, this farm is in fact now fully functional. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, have an easy going day. That's all I really want from you guys. Hope this video is definitely helpful. If you need any help, shameless plug, but join my Discord. I'll give you a hand as far as I can. If you can't, ask in the comments and we'll see what we can do. World downloads in the description. And I think that is it. Outro complete to infinity and beyond. I'll see you guys later.